Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 8th of 2021. Well, it is titled perihelion to aphelion. So what do we see here? Well, these are two images of the sun side by side, and they were taken just about six months apart. And you can see the one on the left taken January 5th of 2021, and the other taken on July 3rd of 2021. Now in January, Earth is closest to the sun. And on in July, Earth is furthest away from our sun. And when you're closer to something, it appears a little bit larger in the sky. So in January, the sun will appear a little bit larger. In July, it appears a little bit smaller. And you can see that distinct difference here. Now, normally, if you were just to be able to watch a sunrise or sunset, you wouldn't notice the difference. It's only about 3% and not something you would obviously be able to see. But you can definitely see it in the comparison here of the two images where we can clearly see that the sun right now appears a little bit smaller in the sky as we are a bit further away from it. Now for those in the northern hemisphere that may sound a little bit strange. We're in the midst of summer and why would the sun if the sun is further away from us at this point? Why would it be hot? Well, that's because our seasons are not caused by a changing distance between Earth and sun. While there is a slight change there, it's minor and has a minimal effect on the seasons. The seasons are caused by the tilt of Earth's axis. And that means for those in the northern hemisphere in July, the northern hemisphere is tilted and pointing towards the sun. And that means two things. We're getting more direct sunlight, so the sun is higher in the sky and beating down on us. And it's in the sky for a longer period of time. If you note, uh, for the northern hemisphere right now, the sun rises very early and sets very late. And if we wait six months until January, we would see that the sun rises very late and sets early and is in the sky for less than 12 hours and is also very low. If you've ever gone out uh, in the sun recently, it's beating down on you if you're out there around uh, around noon time when the sun is highest in the sky, it's beating straight down on you. And when you're he here, if you look at that in January, even at noon, the sun is very low on the southern horizon. So you don't get it beating down on you as much. And the combination of those two things, how directly the sunlight is hitting us, and how uh, long the sun spends in the sky each day are the two things that cause our seasons, not the distance between the sun and Earth. That is only a minor contributor. And as you note here, it would actually be backwards for those of us in the northern hemisphere. So that was our picture of the day for July the 8th of 2021. It was titled Perihelion to Aphelion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.